Hello everyone, welcome back to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing good. This is Rahul and uh, today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to use DynamoDB with Alexa hosted skills. So in this tutorial, we'll be covering the basics of, you know, using a database with an Alexa skill. So I'll be depicting how you can read from a database, write to it, update information which is already there and uh, delete entries from a database. So uh, the thing that we'll be using today is uh, is DynamoDB, but instead of using DynamoDB hosted on AWS, we'll be using DynamoDB resource, which is provided to us in an Alexa hosted skill. So uh, let's uh, you know let's get straight into it and see how it's done. So to start with, we are using a template from Dabble Labs. So if you don't know about uh, Dabble Lab templates, you can head over to GitHub.com/DabbleLab and you will see a lot of uh, python and node.js templates from us which are available on our github channel so um, as you can see there are uh, some python you know templates here some node.js ones here the one that we'll be using today is template number 10 which is python dynamodb example so let's let's just select the the url for the template from here and uh, once we've done that, we need to head over to Alexa Developer Console. And if you haven't built any skills today and if you're new to this, make sure you make an account with the Alexa Developer Console. And once you've done that, you click on the three dots on the right and select Alexa Developer Console from th there. You will reach this page. On this page, all we need to do is click on Create Skill. Uh, give our skill a name so I'll just name it template 1 or sorry I'll just name it template 10 since this is uh, the 10th template I'll select English US from here and make sure you do the same because right now the language files in the template are only uh, supporting English US you can add other language support later on but uh, the default package only comes with the English US language so if you try and use any other language the skill deployment can fail uh, the backend will be Alexa hosted with Python and I'll click on create skill. Uh, once you've done that, just click on import skill from here, paste the GitHub URL that we just copied and uh, wait for about a minute or so till the time that your skill is getting deployed. Once this is done, uh, your entire skill will be up and ready and you can go ahead and test it out straight away. So the features, like the features that uh, will be depicted in the skill, or rather will be displayed in the skill, are, um, as I told you before, reading, writing, updating, and deleting values from a DynamoDB table. So uh, the first operation, uh, so for this entire example, I've taken the name of the user as the attribute, which will be uh, read and written to the database. So uh, we'll be simply asking a new user for uh, their name and uh, once they give us their name we'll be saving it into a database uh, this kind of an example comes really handy when you're building a game or you know any other kind of an alexa skill wherein you have repeat users and uh, on repeat utter, uh, occurrence of the user you actually want to treat them in a more personalized way and when i mean in a more personalized way i mean that if you already have their name uh, you can pull it up from the database and greet them with their name directly so that they feel more connected to the skill. So uh, now our skill is uh, deployed. So let's just test it out and see uh, how does it exactly function. So you need to select development from here. Let the language be English US and I'll say open template 10. Welcome to the Dabble Lab DynamoDB example skill. What's your name? I will say my name, sorry, my name is Rahul. Rahul, I have successfully saved your name. You can now ask me to repeat, update or delete it. What would you like to do? So as you can see, it says that it has uh, saved our name so just to confirm that we'll go to the code section again 
and from the code section if you see we have a dynamo db database icon right up here we can simply click on this icon and a dynamo db table will open up this table is uh, related only to this particular skill so uh, we don't have rights to create a new table or modify the name of this table all we can do is just pick the name of this table in from the environment and uh, pass on values to it to write to it or read from it i'll show you how it is done in the code in the later half so as you can see here that uh, the unique id here is the user id and uh, the attributes which are saved are the username and the value is rahul uh, which we just provided so we can see that uh, you know the the value which we gave is written to the database now let's see what else we can do let's try and read back this value from the database so i'll say what is my name your name is rahul what else would you like to do so it picked up my name from the database and just read it back so we can confirm that you know uh, the the linking works and we can both read and write from the database uh, since we have done that let's now try updating our name to something else so i'll say my name is steve steve i have successfully saved your name you can now ask me to repeat update or delete it what would you like to do so as you can see it it says that it has successfully saved my name so actually what the query that i had to make is my uh, or update my name to steve or uh, this time i'll say rohit your name has been updated to rohit you can now ask me to repeat update or delete it what would you like to do so as you can see it says that our name has been updated i'll go back to the database again and as you can see here our name has been updated to rohit so even in the previous query what happened was uh, it took the name as the first name input that we gave and since we don't have any checks at this point of time so it updated uh, you know our name uh, using uh, using the first uh, first sentence as well the reason for this is updating or uh, assigning a new value both follow the the process for the for both of them is the same you can see that in the code so it simply does not make a difference if you are writing something for the first time or you are uh, updating uh, both the things are done in the same way so uh, now that we we've seen how you can update a value in a database Uh, we'll see if uh, our skill is able to delete it so i'll say delete my name i've deleted your name from the database what would you like to do now so uh, just to confirm i'll show you the database entry and as you can see the previous name was rohit if i just refresh this now we don't have any entries so ideally what should have happened is like uh, only the column for the username like a new column for the username attribute should have been created and only the value from that column or that attribute should have been deleted but uh, since we are using uh, uh, persistence attributes here and we are using a persistent attributes adapter for dynamic db what happens is we only have one attribute and all our values are saved as a dictionary file inside of that attribute itself so if you delete a database entry then the entire uh, you know entry for that particular user is deleted so you can't just delete one or two entries like the username or the age that kind of stuff if you try and delete something everything uh, related to that particular user gets deleted so uh, we've seen how things are working so let's now see how it is uh, done in the code exactly so uh, at the top of the code you can see that we have uh, this these values where we are defining the region of dynamic db which we are picking from the from the environment in this example the same goes for the table name and other stuff so if you were using aws here you would have assigned the region as something as us east 1 or 2 
you know based on the the region that you are using and this would have been like if you used aws uh, and dynamodb before so you must be familiar with this if not you can leave all of this aside and uh, just cut straight to the the main part so over here in the launch request handler we are just checking if the username already exists in the database if not then uh, we shoot up a message where we ask for the name as we just saw in our example so over here uh, this particular line this does the uh, reading or the fetching of the user's name from the database and uh, like over here you can see that first we you know assign persistent attributes from the attributes manager the same way we do for session attributes and we try to pick uh, the the username from the persistent attributes if this is found then we uh, you know greet the user with their name if this is not found then we greet the user with the first time user message similarly when the user tells us their name and they say you know my name is so and so we pick up the name from uh, from the slot value and we assign that to the persistent attributes like this so uh, once you've assigned that to a persistent attributes uh, just like a, a regular uh, you know dictionary key and value pair all you need to do is just save those as uh, you know save those persistent attributes so you, by using this command you can do that and your persistent attributes will be saved to the database because using we are using a persistent attributes adapter for dynamodb so all the other stuff like taking the user's id writing to that file matching all those stuff all of that is taken care by the dynamodb adapter and you know don't need to do anything else uh, the same goes for updating uh, you know reading or updating so as you can see here we can read a, a value from the database in this manner by just uh, asking for the value from the persistent attributes and uh, if you want to update a value in dynamodb all you need to do is just assign uh, you know that uh, key and pass on a value to it as you would use with a dictionary uh, the last thing that uh, we need to look here is how to delete a value and for this the sole command is uh, you know using delete persistent attributes so you just need to call the attributes manager and inside of that if you call this function delete persistent attributes then all the uh, you know attributes related to this particular user based on the unique user id all of those values will be deleted and with this we've reached the end of the tutorial i hope you were able to learn how to use dynamodb with an alexa skill and uh, you'll be applying this knowledge to build some you know amazing alexa skills in the future if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment sections down below and if you like this video make sure to share it with others and you know hit the like button down below and also to subscribe to our youtube channel because you know that really helps us to know that people are being benefited from this and we keep on you know making new and new videos for you uh, so uh, that will be all from my side for for this particular tutorial and i'll see you in the next one till then goodbye